so we got new song from boy with you which is loafers and we got this nice guitar intro at the beginning of the song and uh just repeats throughout the whole song so we got the keyboard on the sixth fret just to make it as easy as possible for you guys you can check out the ukulele lesson 2 it's out uh now for this lesson we got the keyboard on fret 6 it's in a stand singing we just need a couple of chord shapes and that's the whole song so let's have a quick look at them and then i'm going to be providing you with the tabs and believe me i'm the best in this field i'm going to be showing you the exact way he actually plays the riff in the song so let's dive into it first chord which we have is the a minor it's mute open second second first open um then we have a f major seven mute mute three two one open c major mute three two open first open g major three two open 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 three E minor, open second second, open open open. E major, open second second, first open open. That sounds like a lot of chords, but these are like the same chords. E minor, C, E minor, E major, right? Pretty easy. Now, let's have a quick look at the right hand. How finger picking throughout the whole song. So it may just take a bit time to get used to it, but once you get used to that, anything will be super easy. So we got thumb hitting the E, A or the D string. The top three strings is plucked by the thumb. You got the G string, which is plucked by the index, the middle finger plucking the B string, and the ring finger plucking the high E string. There you have it, pinky, useless. So have a look at the tab. Start with the A minor chord, you hit open on E string with the B, one together. Then you play D, then G, then D. So you just simply hold the chord when you play that. A bit slowly. Then you do a slide, which is not there in the tab, but if you want, you can just play fifth, fifth fret on the B string. But I like to do a slide from third fret to fifth fret, or you can even do it from first fret to fifth fret. It's up to you, so. Then you play third fret on the high E string. Then you play fourth fret on the G string. Then fifth fret on the D string with the ring finger. So we got. You see that? Then go to this F major 7 chord. What you can do is you can just uh, bar the first fret using your index finger. So like a small bar. What you do is you plug the D and the high E string. 3 on D, E1 together. G, B. So yeah. Then you plug the high E string twice. Then you put your pinky on third fret of the high E string. Play that twice. And then you play high E string first fret once. So we have, so just practice one part of the riff, then you move on to the next one. So we have, so everything is crystal clear till now, you move on to the C major chord. We plug the A3 and B1, which is there in the chord shape, D string, G string, then again D string. So we have, and you just hold the C major chord. You don't have to worry about what fret you're plucking. Just hold the C major chord. And then you do this. But I like to do a hammer on to a pull off, which is optional. But in the tab, it's just basically one on B, then open B, then open G, then second on D. Follow the tab. You can do a hammer on to a pull off instead of just plucking one open on the B string, which is like using your index to just hit that fret a bit faster and harder. And then quickly taking it off. Like you pinch that and bring it off. Super fast. And then you go to the G major chord, you hold it, you plug the E3 and B open together. You play D open, G open, D open. So we have, and then we go to E major chord, you repeat the same pattern. Plug the top E string open with the open B string. Then you play D2, G1, D2. So yeah. Oops. Now, if you consider the chord progression, it stands like A minor to F major to C to G E major. 
But throughout the whole song, we just have one small change. We don't have the E major, but we do have the E minor in place of the E minor going throughout the whole song. So we got this intro riff. That's it. Throughout the whole song is just A minor, F, C, and then just a G or a E minor. Now it's up to you if you want to play the G major chord, if you want to play the E minor chord, but you can just uh, play the G major chord without the from the high E string, more of like a G6, like this. Sounds nice. So what we're doing over here, throughout the whole song you just pluck A minor chord, you can just go to the answer, uh, if you have a plectrum in your hand like this. So after you do two consecutive dance strokes, you just keep your palm on the string to get the sound of the chord media. So we have F, C, G. On the G major, all the E minor, you can just go for one dance stroke. So we have Or you can just go for this plucking style which I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing over here, I'm just basically plucking the A, D, G, B string for the A minor chord with these two fingers. I mean with these four fingers. Then slap. Go to F major chord, you can just pluck the top E1, 3 on D, 2nd on G, B1. Same way. And C major. A, D, G, B and G. Now let's have a small play along. I think that would be pretty nice. One. Two. Just a second. I think that's enough because it just repeats the same way throughout the whole song. That's it for this video. Uh, guys, subscribe. Helps me a lot. You can check out Toxic. You can check out Two Moons. I've got all of them. And uh, again, subscribe. Helps me a lot. Bye.